What's up everybody? You join me from my garage where we are about to, well, have a great time. You see, I have these parts. A nice intake, a turbo inlet, and a uh, turbo muffler delete. This is sort of like the welcoming pack for anyone with my car, which is a 2019 Volkswagen Jetta GLI with the big turbo engine. I don't know that this is going to make the car that much faster, but it's going to make it sound amazing. And team, that's half the battle. Step one, let's get this air box out of here. It's been about 30 minutes and I have removed all of this. I have removed this. It's all out. And what I have to say is the following. None of this was hard. <laughs> if you have any realistic knowledge, buddy, this is not a difficult process. Uh, a few things that I encountered along the way, the air box just pops out, but it's a pain to rear end, so you can really get a pull. Uh, this shrouding has to come out, and it's just a couple screws, no big deal, and then it pops right out, um, and we'll probably end up putting that back in. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, getting the... Um, Inlet, the turbo inlet out, was completely painless. I mean, I've never seen anything so simple. Folks online, like, they undo stuff and loosen. It. God, what a waste of time. It literally took me 15 minutes to get all of this out. 15 minutes. Not even playing games. Very, very simple. The getting out of the turbo muffler, though? If your hands are a lot bigger than mine, you're going to have problems. And the third bolt, the one on the bottom... Yeah, you can't see that. <laughs> you can't see it. It's all by feel. Uh, Once I got them loose, I just took one of these that I have sitting around. Like, we got sets of these. Uh, and I just held it by hand and just went by feel and loosened it up until the screw fell out of my hand. Uh, and you will probably also notice, if I didn't point this out previous, I got bubble wrap stuffed all down in the holes. <laughs> the car is cold, all right? So it's not like it's going to get hot and stick to anything. Uh, but I got bubble wrap all down in there, just so if I drop anything, it doesn't go anywhere special. <laughs> all right? And now I'm just going to throw it all back in there, and we're going to hope for the best. I hope it goes in as painlessly as it came out. Uh, that would be fantastic. <laughs> just a quick look at the parts that are going in. Uh, this is all CTS Turbo stuff. Um, I took it upon myself to fill in their etching with black paint and make it look nice. I also took it upon myself to color in their stampings and make it look nice. Uh, so now this thing, yeah, yeah, it's doing it right. It's doing it right. So we've got our intake, we've got our turbo inlet, we've got our turbo muffler delete. That is the turbo muffler delete in. That took maybe five minutes. I forgot to point something out. You had to get this screw loose to get this pipe loose. And you had to take this piece loose to have room to work down inside of there. Totally painless. Totally painless. If you have any idea what you're doing on cars, this ain't hard. I've got the aftermarket turbo inlet and the uh, stocker. And I thought we'd measure these together and just see what they come out to, just for fun. Stock comes out to call that 47, 47 millimeters. Aftermarket comes out to 52 millimeters. So they are, in fact, larger in diameter uh, there. And then on the posing side, big end, we'll call that big end. Uh, we are at approximately 65 millimeters there, and on this side, we are at approximately 62 millimeters there. Yeah. Does it actually do anything for us? I don't know, but we're going to find out. It is fortunate that this screw was a good hard steel because if you look down inside of here, that screw hole 
right there where my thumbnail is right there it's off a little it's actually kind of to the side it does you can't quite make it out on camera but standing above it it is off center a little bit i'm going to see if i can't really put a bunch of tension on it and get it to line up well enough to get the screw in but either it was a little cross threaded to begin with or I cross-threaded it ever so slightly when I was trying to get it in the first time. And I had to take the whole thing out and put the bolt in from the backside and re-thread the thing. <laughs> what a pain. Uh, so I'm going to do my best to get this thing in there. But hey, folks, this is something to look out for. Well, <clears throat> it has been over an hour since our last conversation. over an hour. You want to know why it's been over an hour? Because that screw right there, that screw right there, the uh, CTS plate, the hole didn't line up well. And because the hole didn't line up well, I was forced to do something I'm not particularly proud of. Uh, the goal is always to never modify your car to fit an aftermarket part. You modify the part to fit the car. Okay. But in this particular situation, the little ear on the turbo is just a piece of aluminum, and I had to get in there with a file and just make it a little bit oblong. I had to change the shape of the hole by about a half millimeter so that I could get the screw in to where it's supposed to be. Those are milled parts. I can't, I can't, change, I can't change the CTS part because it's milled, it's all milled in. like. There is no fixing it. So I had to adjust the turbo to fit the turbo inlet. That is not good. Because there's plenty of room in that opening to have the bolt move around a little bit. Um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a CTS problem. And I'll be emailing them about that and seeing what they have to say. There's, there's a mile of territory to the left of the hole. And they just had it situated that far to the right. Not good. Not a good sign. Uh, the rest of this should just fall right in place. Again, uh, I consider this to be a really easy job. There was nothing hard about any of it except that freaking hole at this stage. And that was terrible. Man, that was no fun. <laughs> Super low on the fun scale. My knuckles, my hands, they were fine. And now they're all beat to hell because of that little opening and trying to finagle that thing, and finally just giving up and modifying the turbo housing. That was terrible. Well, there it is. There it is. It was a total pain in the backside in numerous ways. But there it is, all the same. Oh my gosh. Zip tied in right there. I got the airbox portion back in here. Here are my thoughts just as I'm sitting here so I don't forget anything. This works great. Everything fits in really well here. The airbox portion of this doesn't fit well at all. It may be, maybe my battery's just done weird or something. I don't know, man, but like this thing, it don't fit well. It does not fit well at all. Oh my gosh, see it pop off? It's ridiculous, man. Like it is not, it does not fit well. All right, it's not. Like I feel like these, these, these could be bigger. I might even go in and pin this, like uh, put something on it to pin it and hold it in somehow. Uh, but it does not fit great. This little support bracket doesn't fit for crap. I had to substantially modify that thing and bend it and mold it and fold it to get it to fit just right. And even then, like once I get it on there, getting in there with a wrench to try to tighten that down is nearly impossible. Um, I, I don't even know, man. Um, yeah, and I feel like the shape of the tube is 95%, but it is not 100 so you really got to work this thing in to get it just right. I feel like it could fit easy. Like, oh, it doesn't take a lot to get that thing to fit really easy, but here it is. Maybe, maybe this piece here is just too long and they bent it at the wrong radius 
and that would scooch this whole thing over a little bit that would make everything fit great. But golly, man, I, I mean, I worked on it substantially to try to get it to fit better, and it this is what you get. I've got it all plumbed in as well as it can be, considering. Um, so tomorrow we will fire this puppy up, see what we get. It's the next day. Fingers crossed that everything goes the way it's supposed to go. <laughs> Let's get that cold start, shall we? Not bad. We are running. No warning lights yet. Unchanged, to be frank. Well, filled her up with some sweet 93, which is probably unnecessary being that it's not even tuned. But uh, now I think it's ready to be gotten on. So we're gonna find out what happens. And I believe we are ready to gas this thing a little bit. All of my temperature is looking good. We're gonna keep an eye on our boost gauge, make sure everything registers correctly. <laughs> I would hate to have a leak. So yeah, I think uh, doesn't sound any different at all. I hear no variation from the cab at all. This uh, truck beside me when I came to a stop, his air brakes went off and I was like, oh, oh no, never mind. <laughs> it's not me. Such is life. y'all can make that out. I hope you can hear it because it's for real. Let's try one more time. Yeah, not too shabby. I definitely can hear the turbo noises. I have put the car in normal driving mode just to make this a little obvious. Here we go. Let's just see if we can hear it. Sounds nice. That's not bad at all. Hope y'all can make that out. Man, I hear it. So, here is my comment. I can hear the intake noise better. Um, I've never heard this car make turbo noises in any realistic fashion until now. So that's nice. Now the next question becomes, do I feel there is any sort of performance gain from the intake, the turbo inlet, and uh, the turbo muffler delete, which, yeah. So let's go find a quiet road and give this thing some gas, and we'll see what we think about it. All right, we are in sports mode. It's peppy. It's peppy. That's, uh, that's a fact. I'm gonna call it peppy. <laughs> uh, all right. <clears throat> Do I notice a seat of the pants variation in power that this car makes. No, not really. And I would predict that anyone that says that they do, they really just want it to be that way. Uh, could this be giving, geez, I don't know, what do they claim? 10% more power? 15% more? Might. Might be. Is this meaningful? 
when one is about to get tuned up? Um, I think so. I think so. So, would I buy all of this stuff again? Probably. Because I'm vain. I just like knowing it's there. <laughs> um, but are you going to beat all your buddies racing because you got these parts? No. No, you are not. Frankly, um, the stock setup is pretty efficient and the changes are minimal. But it sounds good. I have peace of mind uh, knowing that I have the modifications necessary to take more advantage of some of the tuning that I'm about to do. And I like just knowing it's there, period. Makes me happy. So your mileage may vary, but not too shabby. Not gonna complain. Sort of a pain in the neck to get installed. That's my only complaint, really, okay? Uh, installing that turbo inlet was terrible. Everything else was pretty painless. Uh, yeah, all right. And that's that. So with that in mind, thanks for watching. Go have fun. Enjoy yourself. You only live once. Have a wonderful day and bye-bye.